right guys, I don't have a lot of time today. I need your help with some math while I go and do some live stuff. All of these trade rumors swirling. The comments have been amazing, guys. I love that everyone's just chatting up a storm and brainstorming what the hell we could do. Listen, on my channel, there are no holds barred. Just be kind to each other. Don't be dicks. Everyone's ideas are valid. And if you have questions about how the CBA works, ask them. I am no expert, but we will look into what's going on. Now, here's where I need your help. We need to know where we're at math-wise for the Raptors. When we look at our salaries right now, we have access to three exceptions. And exceptions are just things you can use once you're over the salary cap to stay over the salary cap and still offer more money to players. So you need to use exceptions to keep raising your payroll and bringing in new talent. Let me make this full screen for you. We have access to non-taxpayer mid-level, which we can split. If you read how exceptions work, exceptions are essentially grants offering teams an additional way to sign players. Exceptions can be split up to multiple player signings, meaning we could take this 10 million and divide it in two any way we want. Eight and two, five and five, four and six, whatever. And this is precisely what everyone assumed we did with the Otto Porter contract, but I'm not so sure we used the MLE. This is important. However, only one of these exceptions can be used per season. And the names of them are the mid-level exception, the biannual, and then we have two trade exceptions. These can be used when you're trying to make the money work on an NBA trade, these can be thrown in. You can only use one at a time. So Gorin's is worth 5.250. Kalos, we can use 3 million of it to even out a trade. Now there's another way we can even out a trade too. And this is super creative and only a desperate team would let us do it. So if we were dealing with a team that just wanted to get money off the books, we could use this strategy. I believe we have bird rights on Utah. Now, if we only have early bird, this doesn't work. And here it says early bird. So if this is up to date, we actually can't do it. Because if you give a raise to an early bird player, it becomes a no trade clause. But if we have full bird rights on him, we could give him $15 million and he and his Japanese family can like rejoice. You saw this happen last year with Doug McDermott's contract. He got sign and trade. So we could actually package up say Utah, a trade exception, a really good young prospect like, like Delano Banton or Gary Trent Jr. and make the money work on, let's say, an Aiton or, or a um, Durant trade without actually shipping out much because Thad can be moved as well. You could move Thad, okay? So we don't necessarily have to move OG and Gary Trent Jr. If they're desperate, they might take one of those plus, say, Banton and that can be the end of it. So Utah's contract, if it's full bird rights, could be used in this way similar to Doug McDermott last year. Now, I don't wanna spend a lot of time on bird rights, so go ahead and check it out yourself, the differences between non-bird rights, bird rights, and early bird rights, and you can check that out on Hoops Rumors, super good resource. Okay, so that's how we could potentially use trade exceptions if we haven't used the MLE on Otto Porter. So as a group, we need to figure out, did we use the MLE or did we just sign him to something else? Because there's an another exception we may have used to sign auto. Here we go. So if you look at the math, where is it here? We have 30 million, here it is, luxury tax, okay? Current luxury tax space. Let me get my calculator brought up here and we can calculate it. So if we bring up my handy dandy calculator and I'll make the screen big, there we go. So we got 34 million in room before we hit the luxury tax threshold. If we scroll up to Chris and Thad's contract, we're gonna subtract, let's call it 11 mil for Chris and seven point, let's call it 7.8 for Thad. And then I saw Otto's number coming in around three, just under, so we'll call it three. That leaves us 12.2 million guys to work with. This is more than I anticipated. It means we're not at the luxury tax threshold. And you'll notice 12.2 is less than our exception number of 10.264 so we could set ourselves up with another mid-level exception player at max value to add to our roster if we were going to do that we would want to trade some young assets away because we only have 15 roster spots so you could do some of this tricky kind of thing to use the trade exception or you could choose to use the MLE you can't use both so we need to decide and I don't think auto was signed using the mid-level player exception. I think we signed him 
using this. And this is super cool. I think we signed him, let me get rid of the calculator. Remember, he, he, he was being forecasted at around 2.7 mil. If you look at this, this is the minimum salaries for this year. And for veterans, you can see like the, the rookie salary. So Coloco, he'll be at 1,017,781. That will be his salary. Autos is projected to be either this eight or nine number. That's how many years they've been in the league. So I actually think we have our mid-level exception or our trade exception or biannual option still. This is breaking news, guys. You're not seeing this out there. That's right, I'm working hard here, guys. Yeah, not bad. And for those of you that don't sub, it feels like you're creeping on me. You're not even gonna sub or hit notification bells. So what I'm gonna ask you creeps to do is to hit the like and subscribe button. Please, pretty please. So here's your homework while I'm gone to play with my kids. And I need you to do it in the comments below. We need to know if we used Otto Porter's veteran minimum exception. Because if we did, it means that we have our MLE or the ability to use our trade exceptions. And that would help us get our roster to a place where we're competing for Larry's. So that's your homework, guys. I need you to figure out how we signed Otto. Kawhi, can you get on this case while I'm gone? I don't even know where you're sitting at. It's all about the Larry's, guys. This is Chef's Kiss Approved. Mwah! <laughs>